Okay, so I need to build a receptionist desk right here, like uh, probably something like this high that you can use a uh, tall, like high chair or whatever, sit behind, and then cover this with like a certain type of material, travel that's really thick, whatever, or cushion it, whatever they cover the material. But receptionist desk right here. This wall, I don't really need you to worry about, or that wall over there, but um, this wall is going to get painted black, which is part of, the, you know, the renovations anyway. Painted black, do a tag wall, do a tag wall at the top, or whatever, behind the reception desk. Uh, if you walk over here, this is, uh, this area is all going to get painted back to the original color white, and this uh, specific wall is going to get painted black. It's going to be a tag wall, a tag, like you can spray paint, but also the regular paint too, uh, coming all the way across there to the top of this, only because, uh, and then we're going to have it like tied in with like, you know, um, airbrush, like needle and thread, looking like that kind of thing, whatever. This wall will be black, so the bottom part fading black. I'm going to do cubby holes on the sides that will make it like uh, black and uh, be gold and sort of pins. So like whatever you do a purchase, you get a tattoo. I accessory inside the wall. This is what I need built though. Uh, stay right here. This, uh, stay right here. This is what I need built. Lining up directly with this wall, I need an L shaped <coughs> seating unit, which also would be a storage area too, underneath, whatever. But like, you know, a, a box L shaped storage unit that go all the way from that point to right here against this wall. Um, depending on the, the color of the tag, determines the cushion and the material that we get for it, but I want this area to look real funky. Uh, ottoman is going to need to go right here with like, uh, you know, for like portfolios, flyers, tickets, whatever, you know, stuff about how to do this. I'm going to screw in the walls, I mean, in the ceiling, like these little twisty things, whatever, with hooks, like screws with hooks, and then it'll be chains hanging from each one, and it'll be having the water uh, top art pieces hanging flat down from the ceiling at different levels. So when you look up, like when you're chilling in this area, you have to look up, you'll see like one of the art pieces. This is the area where, I mean, it's going to be like similar to a strip ball. It'll be uh, like a four cylinder pole. But if you did drill it into a cylinder, you put another pole on top of the first, and then drill it into a cylinder, the top pole will then be able to spin. And what I mean by being able to spin is I'm going to attach hooks, like the hooks that will come up from the wall at an angle. I'm attach those same hooks to the actual pole on three different sides. So this is the pole, it'll be a hook coming like this, hook coming like this, and a hook coming like this. And I have four different grooves. Start from two feet from the ceiling and going up from two feet from the ground, whatever. And then it spins so you can house like two holes otherwise just in this little spot. And then put a sheet glass or a no glass mirror right there. I need the same thing as we right here, will be right here. This one will also spin as well. Right here. Uh, right before the drop cylinder or whatever, you would put a pole coming down, like maybe like to this length or whatever, and coming up to like maybe this length, and then it will be connected by another piece of metal that will be a complete circle that will tie both pieces in or whatever. So it had to be a slim pole with a thicker pole on top again, another slim pole with a thicker pole on top, and then tie it in the circle with a straight bar going through the circle so you can hang it closed and then that will spin like this way. Uh, this area, I do need help uh, doing it too. This side of the wall, you painted purple. This whole area, you painted purple. It's gonna look like a. Uh, it's gonna look like a life-size jury box. So we need glass. We need glass casing. Yes, it's glass. tough. We need glass casing coming in like this, in a square shape or whatever, and then we're gonna cover the pieces of glass, the actual shells, with like some velvet type of material or whatever, and then do like a ballerina. From the ceiling, so it looked like a real jury box, whatever. Um, this area is going to be pretty much open. I don't need to worry about helping with the build out as far as this because I'll get like a couch or something to go there. And then we do like model etiquette, uh, walk in classes, and then you know, Charmaine right does dance. So we don't really need this area to be anything again, you know. Uh, these arches need to come down, all three of them. They don't belong there. The pillars are there to stand up. The pillars are part of the structure. The uh, arches are not. So the pillars need to be gone. I mean, the arches.
um, like right here, like right in this area, like down there where this where this wall meets or whatever, and that area will be square all the way off. But I don't want the wall to be floor to ceiling. I want the wall because the area to be cheaper. I want the wall to start like here, so it'll be level, so it'll be here, so you still can't see over it, but it's not it's not you know all the way to the ceiling. It's not a complete box, so it comes all the way here and it stops like right in front of there and then it cuts in here so that this whole inside part is a big ass open area, right? So same reason I just stepped in the inside. Now I'm enclosed in here, period. This is, the wall comes all the way to the ceiling, but from this point, it'll be a level, you know what I'm saying, it'll be a shorter level coming there, but I wanted to go back up to the ceiling to uh, close it off, though. You know, so, again, this wall will start right here, and it go all the way across at the same level until right here. And then this wall to close it will be the same width as that wall. It'll be back up high. And then in the inside of the wall, right in the center, like right here, I need a medium, like a thin wall that connects to the, uh, the outside wall, a thin wall, so that this side will be one uh, tattoo artist's area, this side will be the other tattoo artist's area. The difference is, on this door, I mean, on this wall though, right where that median is, I need two doors attached to it. Like, probably like this skinny door right here that looks similar to like the skinny door. It doesn't have to be that tall because, you know, the ceiling is not going to be that high. I mean, the wall is going to be high. But two doors so that, uh, that has to attach to that medium. So when you open that door, the right door, you can see you right into this side and that side will be closed off. And when you open this door, it sits to that side, and that's how it comes up. But the, the center wall that's divided in two should not be real high because I want to be able to attach cabinetry on the top of it for either side. So like a cabinet that, or like some type of stainless steel cabinetry, or if you can think of like the uh, the steel the steel cases that be on the back of pickups that uh, they do like they do a lot of tool work or whatever, um, like something like that. Or, um, that attached right in the center and one tattoo artist can open it from one side and put all his like stuff in there and the tattoo artist can put his stuff in there and then I'll put cabinets along the wall so that they we utilize it, their cabinetry up high rather than down low so that they can take full advantage of all the actual area they have because now we can put a, a flat massage table there if you want to do that to do tattoos or whatever so it'd be more than enough area for them so like from this point he'll have all of this area to do tattoos all that area do tattoos, and the other artists that have like all of this area do tattoos. And over here, uh, a wall needs to be built from this to here to close this off, starting from the inside though, so it doesn't need to extend out any further. But a wall needs to be built from the inside right here with the door so that no one can access the upstairs. Um, and then a vanity needs to be built right here. Which is just, I want to kind of like a stainless steel looking vanity. Doesn't have to be real stainless steel or whatever, as long as it looks good and it's silver or whatever. But, you know, a high uh, bar table, basically, like that, come from this wall all the way across and it'll just keep coming and stop maybe right here with two high chairs and the bottom of the vanity needs to be like, you know, a stainless steel casing or, you know, just so it's not raw. It is not like you're looking at the wall, you're looking at like the clothing of it or whatever. And then sheet glass. Sheets of glass, if it's cheaper, if it's not cheaper than mirrors, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever with the recess lights, the little track lights that might be this long, might have like eight bugs. We need them going up the side, come over here real quick. Going up the side, the top, uh, the top, the top, and the side. So that would be enough lighting to do makeup and do hair and all that stuff right here. I need a bar that attaches from this, that, like this point right here. Um, to this wall, like a half circle shower rods or whatever, with some really nice fabric that uh, open and closes or whatever, and I'll take these track lights and adjust them all to be looking down here, and then put a mirror in here for a dressing room. Uh, I'll attach um, the side of the curtain that will be on this side to the wall so that it can only slide, you know, from this point that way, and you know, the back, but this side can't actually move this way. And for the most part, that's the build out. So, um, I'll show you the bathroom. Not really anything you want in the bathroom, actually. But you do own some lime, so I mean, maybe, you know, you can do something as far as a girl for a hair, but this is the 
the bathroom down here, and this can also be used for some storage area. So, uh, come on, let's get it. All right, let me turn it on. 